Hello and welcome to Maximize. Today I'd like to show you how to create a very simple workflow using your Mac on Automator. Now Automator is a pre-installed software application that allows you to automate tasks using a drag and drop interface that makes programming and daily tasks very easy. It's straightforward, simple to use and very helpful. Now let's get right into it. Now the first thing that you need to do is open up Automator. You can do that by going to Spotlight Search, Command Space, typing in Automator. Once you've opened up Automator, you can create a new file, Command N or File New. You want to save this particular document as an application because you can run it whenever you want and store it wherever you want. Now in order to create birthday reminders, there are three simple steps. First, you want to find people with birthdays, drag and drop this onto your workspace. Once you have this, the second one that you have to do is get their contact information. So now that you got this, just drag and drop it onto your workspace. The last one that you need to do is create a new text file that contains all their information. So I'd select that, drag and drop it to the workspace. Looks like it's not added. So um, now that you have these three steps set up on your workspace, all you have to do is select your preferences. In my case, I like to see, find people whose birthday is this month. And uh, I don't need all that. I just need their first name, last name, and uh, just their birthday sh should be good. Uh, and I'll save this as birthdays.txt on my desktop. You want to select replacing existing files if you wanted to repeatedly do this process. But for this tutorial, I will not do it. Now that I have all my steps ready and preferences saved, bear in mind that sometimes when you click on run, the first time you run it, you are not going to get any results. Let's see. So you can see that the workflow is running. And I have a list that looks empty. As I said, once in a while, for the fir very first time when you're working a certain, running through a certain workflow, it might not work. So all you got to do is run that again, and you'll see that this time it does contain information and list of people that have their birthdays this month. I hope this was really helpful. Now, one way of storing this particular workflow is go to Automator, select File, and Save. Make sure you select the file format as an application so that you can run whenever you want it. I'd save this as Birthdays Reminder on my desktop. And you could see that the workflow is saved. So the next time I want to run something similar to this, I just double click on the application and it should run. In order to test it, you could see it right here. I could close the Automator and It'll ask for your permission, okay, and there you have it.